then so does Mumbai. Uh, exactly. You know? So, so exactly. that's what that's what's good about. So it's not so far away as no. everybody thinks. No, no. Uh, let me ask you one thing: which you feel needs to be done, where which is the bump, which would perhaps smoothen the equations in those required. I, 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 I think that I have been engaged in a number of you know visits to India, discussions about and with Indian counterparts before I mm. we came into government and. I think we've talked a long time about, for a long time, about improving the economic aspect of the mm -hmm. relationship. The, the sort of stereotypical position is we're really good on the strategic aspects, but not so much on the economic. Well, we need to have the economic work, don't mm. we? Mm. Uh, and there's a fair bit of focus on that, as you would have seen yeah. from the Prime Minister, from Prime Minister Modi's statements, yes. but also the announcements out of the bilateral today. Mm. But to take the ECTA mm -hmm. forward to a CECA. Mm -hmm. uh, what needs to be done? I think what's the biggest bump? Let me ask you that. Well, I mean, I'm an Australian, so you know, I, 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 would, say, I, I would say, I would say, I would say, you know, obviously we we want meaningful um, market access, and uh, but I think you know, if there's if there's uh, if people can think uh, laterally and creatively uh, about the areas where we can work more closely together, then you know, I'm hopeful that the you know, the, the, C, the CECA uh, um, will mm. be uh, uh, an ambitious agreement, uh, mm. and I'd like it to be. We, we've recently opened, well, last night we, we announced the board and the location of the Centre for Australia-India re Relations. In Parramatta. Yeah, in Parramatta, which will be great, because um, so much of the diaspora is there, there, and that's such a source of energy for the relationship. But uh, I've said to them, look, I really want to know what are some of the things we can do on the economic front to facilitate more... Um, economic engagement and so it's not just the large companies but it's also the diaspora which have there's a lot of entrepreneurs here yes. in Australia and in India and they've done a lot of work uh, on the economic relationship I'm sure we can Mm. Leverage that up now. Did, did the strength of the diaspora surprise you yesterday? No, uh, I mean, not, I, I was um, not so much surprised, but uh, I suppose moved by it, excited by it, uh, inspired by it. But I, I, I have engaged enough with, with Indian and Australians to know the, the extent of their pride and their, their joy mm. in their culture and their history. And there was a celebration of, and their future. Yeah, so their, got, their excitement for their future. They're very excited about the Little India Gateway at Harris Park, but there are also concerns about extremist elements, mm. uh, secessionist elements. Mm -hmm. Prime Minister did speak about it mm -hmm. in his joint statement mm -hmm. today. Uh, you think that's going to be addressed, Billy? Well, uh, we are. We well, I'd say this, and I want to. I've made this really clear. We, there is. We guard our multiculturalism uh, fiercely in Australia. Mm. Uh, we. Uh, and we guard the social cohesion which underpins that. Mm. You know, we are one of the most multicultural societies in the world mm. uh, and uh, the social cohesion and the values which underpin that matter to us. That's why there is no space for hate mm. uh, and bigotry and there is no space for violence mm. and you know, we've had an appropriate uh, security response to the violence uh, against religious places including mm. Hindu temples uh, and that, that is to be condemned and mm. what we would say is there is no place for that uh, in Australia. We do, we do, people have a right to peaceful protest, yeah. um, that is something Australians uh, expect uh, but there is a line and we, we, uh, we do not wish want people to, yeah. to cross it and if that is crossed then obviously the law will respond. No, I respect that. Vandalism, violence, protest yes. is one yes. aspect. Hate is another aspect. Yes. But the messaging is now secessionist. Uh, so that that's where uh, yes. the, the concern is. Is the, is the government, Australian government? Well, as I've said, I mean, the, 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 <laughs> the, 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 the so-called, you know, the, the protest which was held, mm. um, the so-called referendum uh, has is 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 a simply a political is a protest. It mm. has no effect uh, and ought be dismissed uh, in terms of any effect. So I mean, I I, I don't even want to talk about the territorial integrity of India because it yeah. seems to sort of give weight to something which has no weight. Point well taken. So final two <laughs> final two questions. Two you, questions. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, this is this is final two questions. No, 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 this is like T20. He's <laughs> yeah. doing a T20. So I, I was coming to the cricket game. like you know. You've, you've got. Uh, <laughs> an open invitation to come and watch the Cricket World Cup and also celebrate Diwali with us. So will you take up that? Uh, uh, look, uh, you know, if, if I can, I will. I know the Prime Minister is very yes. keen on doing that. Um, 
uh, but uh, I, I'll see if uh, I'll see if I, I'm able to, or whether it needs to be, uh, you know, I need to stay be elsewhere while he's in India. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's it is amazing your your what has happened in India with cricket over the last 20 years. I mean, I'm old enough to remember watching Tendulkar. Tendulkar, I yes, do. Yes, I remember. It was do. actually probably the best innings. Probably the best innings I've ever seen, actually. Mm -hmm. yeah. Your impressions about Virat Kohli? He's going to go head to head with the Australian team very soon. Oh, <laughs> well, we, we had, a, jo we had a joke. We had a joke about the cricket in the meeting today, and I said well, Australians are getting used to the fact that you know, um, you know, we're, we're probably winning less off. Uh, we're winning less often now, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we don't like it. No, yeah, you don't like it. No, no, but, really. But you're looking forward to the World Test Championship, the final? Absolutely. Any, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Wong. Thank you very much for your great, time. It's great to be with That's you. That's Penny Wong. Very hard to get. Oh. But very candid, very straightforward, and amazing conversation. Thank you so much. Oh, I really, really appreciate your time. Cheers. Thank you so thank much. You. Wonderful. So that was CNN News 18's Anand Narasimhan live with us from Sydney who was in an exclusive conversation with the Australian Foreign Minister Penny Wong who spoke about the India and Australian ties.